Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, I want to show you how you can use some frames, and I've got a really good frame hack for you as well. So how you can get a diamond-shaped frame in Canva. So let's dive into Canva and have a look at how we can get this done. For those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative. So I do all things Canva related on this channel and I want to help you create better content. So let's dive into Canva and have a look at how we can create this diamond shaped frame. Okay, here we are, we're in Canva. And what I've got is I've got a picture inside a diamond shaped frame. And you'll see what you've got here is that this picture is actually up straight. Now, what you might think is, well, if I just quickly add a new page, you might think, right, well, let's come in, go to frames, add this frame here, and we'll rotate that 45 degrees. And then what I'll do is I'll come to my photographs, I'll pick this one, I'll put it in there, and then it's it doesn't quite work. Hold your fire. You're nearly there. You're 50% of the way there. All you do, if I just right click on this, you can detach the image. Great little tip there for you if you didn't know that. If you right click on picture that's in a frame, you can choose to detach the image. All we need to do, if we've turned our frame 45 degrees anti-clockwise, as I've done there, all we need to do is turn our image 45 degrees clockwise. So let's do that. Let's dive into camera and have a look. We're doing that as we come around here, 42, 43, 44, 45. So 45 degrees, and then put that inside the image. Boom. So that's exactly how you can create a really simple diamond shaped frame in Canva and how you can use the rotation of the frame and the image to your advantage. If you've really liked this tutorial and have found it helpful, don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. My name's Darren. I'm a Canva certified creative. So what I do on this channel is tutorials and tips on how you can better use Canva. So until next time, bye for now.